Welcome to scenic Muncie, Indiana. As the cool spring breeze snakes down McKinley Avenue, we are here in the shadow of the bell tower to welcome you into Ball State's brand new eSports facility. I'll be your host for the night. My name is Ethan Dolan, and this spacious 3,611 square foot facility will be home to Ball State's brand new esports team. And after all, what is a team without its leader? Introducing Ball State Director of Esports, Dan Marino. <laughs> um, my name is Dan Marino. Uh, and I run the esports program here at Ball State. Garner's trying to step up, the impale comes down. Ash is gonna get some damage. Yeah, I like to take that little sunny there in the middle of the map. Be a free pass to Tyster, and it goes in. Oh wow. no, he gets left. That's huge, actually. Oh, with the shatter! The esports program that I run is typically holistic. Uh, and it's designed to give students the most experience possible through their four years so that should they continue on esports professionally, they have the skills they need, but even if they don't, uh, they'll have the skills to succeed in any, any field that they find themselves in. This upcoming season, so the spring season, is all about setting the foundations. Obviously, you wanna succeed, you wanna have, you know, you wanna win, uh, win in playoffs and then hopefully take home championships, but with it being a new program, you wanna make sure that the processes and the procedures and the culture are correct first and if you win while doing that, great. Uh, but it's more important that we set up the right foundations so that in future seasons, we can win and we can win the way we want to. So it's a very tight-knit group, very friendly group. Not only do they play together, but you know, they're friends. It makes it a lot easier uh, when you trust the person next to you, not only in the game, but personally. One of the most exciting things about esports, especially collegiate esports, is there are so many other roles other than playing. Typically, people always think, well, esports, you have to be a player. That's not necessarily the case. Um, so yeah, you know, esports social media accounts, or there's the production side of things, um, which I think is the most exciting piece of it outside of playing. Um, just like in traditional sports production, you know, telling the stories of the players, the teams, the, the narrative of a season. There's a lot of talent on a lot of different campuses, but being able to showcase that talent and showcase the person behind that talent, uh, I think is going to be sort of that next frontier. Uh, that hopefully brings esports a little bit closer um, to traditional sports, not only uh, for the, the students playing the games, but for the people sort of consuming that content. And I am joined now by Director Marino himself. What competitive goals do you have in the near future for this young team? So we have a lot of competitive goals. Uh, I think the biggest is establishing, like I said in the video, the culture, the teams, the rosters, and primarily doing that through recruitment, both uh, off campus with up and coming high school students, community college students, and as well, uh, you know, our own Ball State uh, students that we already have. So uh, competitively, it's about building the teams and then, and then hopefully rolling that into a championship. Yeah, absolutely. And how can the fans at home support their new favorite varsity team? Right. So uh, outside of just rooting for us, the best way that you can support the varsity team is, is with uh, contributions and donations. Uh, those, that, those dollars will go really far in helping us recruit the best talent, the best students, uh, as well as supporting the team through you know, uh, different travel events or equipment and merchandise and uniforms, things like that. Yeah, absolutely. And speaking of the best talent, let's take a quick look at the varsity team.
And joining us now are some of those aforementioned talented individuals. From the Valorant team, we've got Parker, Parker Edwards, and Shreyas Astro Acharya. Representing League of Legends behind me there is Caleb, 23rd Gamer Matchet. Down on the left here, we've got Blake, Hall Goat Hall, and Cassidy Casseroles Yerky. And here, finally, for the Rocket League team, we've got Julian Gator Melon Thomas alongside Devin Deister Welch. Thank you so much to these talented individuals and all the hard work that they have put in to represent Ball State well. We're going to take a quick break, but when we return, we're going to talk about the actual construction of this facility and have a sit down with CCIM Dean Paige Turner. You know you're a Ball State Cardinal when you first hear the chirp, when you look to Frog Baby for luck and Beneficence for guidance. You're a Ball State Cardinal when you chase your dreams, present your case, and win. When the university you call home is small enough to be a community, but big enough to change the world. You know you're a Ball State Cardinal when you're one of us. We are Ball State University. We fly. Can you feel it? It's on its way. Are you ready for this? And this isn't just a facility that is easy on the eyes. It also has a number of amenities as well, including a full control room for broadcast purposes, some offices for graduate assistants, and a lounge full of next-gen consoles. Let's take a look at how the space was actually constructed. I'm here now with CCIM Dean Paige Turner. How will this space support academics across campus? So this space has several different components that will be used for every college and every academic unit across campus. So I'm gonna take you through that. And although it's housed in CCIM, we hold this space in trust for the rest of the university. So we have our varsity competition area that you've been introduced to. But we also have our classroom space that has 24 computers that will have classes in CCIM in multimedia production, video production, sports PR. In our College of Fine Arts, it will house our growing animation program. In the Miller College of Business, they're looking to see how they can use this space to teach students about innovative business practices. And our College of Health will be partnering with us to look at the health of our student athletes in an esports arena. So that's just the classroom space. In addition, we have a production facility that's right behind me that can, students can use to produce events across campus and around the world. And this will be the uh, production facility that will support the companion program to our award-winning SportsLink program housed in the Department of Telecommunication, which will be our new 
esports production major as well. So as you can see, this space is innovative, both in terms of its esports focus, but also in the way in which we have designed the space to fill a multitude of needs for the education of our students. Wow, so much exciting stuff. How can we further support the involvement of Ball State in the world of esports? So, of course, I would love to have you support CCIM in esports, but the reality is, is that every time you support any program in our university, you are supporting our student success. And we are having One Ball State Day tomorrow on April 6th. So I encourage individuals to donate to the group that they feel an affinity for, that they want to support, because every student who's supported supports the entire community success. Of course, if you'd like to support CCMI, we wouldn't be upset if you were to do that. And when you donate to eSports, the foundation that we've established to support it, it helps with recruitment and educational opportunities that we are going to build throughout this classroom. You know, it also helps our students have experiences and think about things in ways they've never thought of. Try something new that they never knew they could succeed at. And in a minute, you're going to see me try something that I didn't even know that I could see see that as well. So truly, it is inspirational, not just for our students, but also for me as well. Thank you so much, Dean Turner. We are going to take a quick aside, and when we come back, I will be joined by Ball State President Jeffrey Mearns. One Ball State Day is here. Big stage. Big lights. Are you ready? You know you're a Ball State Cardinal when you first hear the chirp, when you look to Frog Baby for luck and Beneficence for guidance. You're a Ball State Cardinal when you chase your dreams, present your case, and win. When the university you call home is small enough to be a community, but big enough to change the world. You know you're a Ball State Cardinal when you're one of us. We are Ball State University. We fly. While it may be calm in here right now, this elevated 6v6 stage will soon be the stage for many exciting matchups across multiple titles. And speaking of stages, I now have the distinct pleasure of sharing it with Ball State President Jeffrey Mearns. How does the Ball State eSports venture create new opportunity for students here? Well, as you heard so eloquently from the Dean, it's going to enable us to attract students from a variety of disciplines, not just students who are interested in practicing or competing in esports, but all of the different programs and disciplines that can support esports. So it will help us uh, attract students, and certainly we know that when students become more fully engaged with their peers and with other programs, they become more engaged in the life of campus, and so they retain and graduate at better rates. Uh, but more importantly, as we know, that students learn through practicing and competing in esports the kinds of skills that we want to instill in all of our students, a sense of teamwork, problem solving, the discipline and determination that we know it will uh, take to succeed in life thereafter. Absolutely. And speaking of that competition, when we look at the conference that Ball State will compete in, what role did our university play in developing the eSports Collegiate Conference? So as you know, the MAC was instrumental in creating that conference. The conversations about this actually began probably about two years ago among my colleagues on the President's Council. And the Commissioner and his staff really did a wonderful job of recognizing that these programs were emerging in all of the institutions. And he came forward with the idea of creating this conference parallel to our traditional athletic competition. And so we created this entity that will allow our students to compete with one another. And also by creating a separate entity, we're going to attract institutions that aren't presently members of the MAC. So it's a wonderful facility for our school, for our institution, for the MAC, and for other institutions. It's not only good for our campus, it's good for our community. Mayor Dan Ridenauer is here from the city of Muncie, so he understands how important this is for connecting the campus further with the community. 
Well, thank you so much, President Mearns. We're going to take one more quick break, but when we do return, we're going to be officially opening the space and cutting the ribbon. Hi, I'm Alex Cartman. Welcome to the new eSports space here on Ball State's campus. As you can see, we've got plenty of room, plenty of new computers for everyone to come in, game, relax, hang out. What you see here is we have a classroom and multi-purpose area first with 24 machines where teachers can come do interactive teaching and lessons across their courses, or students can casually come gameplay in the afternoons and the evenings, or we can find a way in the future to do community engagement in here. That's why we have so many that are available for everyone to come and use. Hopefully soon, this will be really buzzing. We can't wait to host you in here. So now, as we move behind me, you see what is our pride and glory for our varsity team here on campus. This is our 6v6 eSports arena, uh, where we will host competitions, we'll host uh, audiences to come watch, we'll do all sorts of eSports events here on campus. You can see we've got high-end Alienware computers throughout the entire space. But up here, they're top of the line. They're ready for, to go for competition for now and for hopefully the next five, 10 years down the road. And as we keep moving through, you see, we're making sure the cutting edge is available to all students. That doesn't include only game players. Coming behind me, we have the ability to do streaming, broadcasting, all sorts of coverage of esports from in this venue or even throughout the country, through, thanks to the production room we've implemented here with our studio. So we're running a TriCaster system here with the top of the line, brand new TriCaster 2 Elite. Uh, the ability to take any feed we want over IP, uh, both audio and video over the internet, it's great. We have the ability to future-proof this and give students the opportunity to succeed now and in the future, same as out there. So we hope you can come visit us soon and enjoy the brand new Ball State eSports space. One Ball State Day is here. Big stage, big lights. Are you ready? Welcome back. Joining Director Marino, Dean Turner, and President Murds to officially cut the ribbon and open the facility is Provost Susana Rivera Mills. Okay, so we know success at esports requires teamwork and coordination. So I'm going to count us down. <laughs> Three, two, one, then we cut together. Okay, got it? Three, two, one, cut. All right. <laughs> So President Mearns, now that we've officially opened uh, the eSports arena, we wanted to take a moment and thank you and welcome you to your varsity eSports team. Great, well it's good to be here, just so long as I don't have to play, right. I think we'll be okay. Look at that, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much there, Dyster. Welcome to the team, President Mearns. We have one question from social media to be answered here. It's from at Sydney underscore grow who asks, how can students sign up to use the space and is Animal Crossing allowed? Um, can, can direct that at Dan over here, but. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Dan. Sure, so there are gonna be uh, multiple ways that students can get involved with the esports program, either through varsity, through club, or the academic route uh, through the esports production. Uh, so there are many ways for, for Sydney to get involved if she wants to compete the varsity, if she likes that community feel of the club. Animal Crossing, I think, would fall into the club territory. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. If you have anything to add, Paige, go for it. We are also looking to have this space open for recreational play for our entire community. And so Dan Marino, who just started with us, was it four months ago? So you can imagine the lightning speed that he, IT, facilities, and every staff member on our campus has been to get this open. They'll be establishing a process whereby clubs can play in here, varsity can play in here, we can have our classes, 
and that we can open it up for community play as well. Thank you guys so much and thank you at home for tuning in. Thank the people here for being here. That is all we have for today. I just have to say, being a part of this program for three years has been such a joy to see it grow. So surreal to stand here in this space after broadcasting <laughs> out of essentially a closet at the club level for a little bit. We are all witnesses to Ball State history today and we can't wait to make some more history right here with you.